Hi guys, it's Lisa Spotting the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo and I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods and making YouTube videos. So today we're here for an unboxing. This is a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. I'm not sure what's in it. I think it is the denim box, okay? I did take the tape off but I didn't even look in it. So let's look in it and see what we have. Well, let me show you what we have. So, that's what it looks like on top. Let's see if there's an invoice in here. They send these every time when I go to try to check them out. It, it don't do any good. I think it may be the user, not the information. Okay, so this is indeed the denim box. There are 10 to 12 pairs for $30. Grand total of $38.22. Not near as good as the $40 pairs that I normally get in a good in a uh, thread up denim box but hey we're gonna try them out because if this is are these are 10 to 12 really good items then I'll be happy now the first one on top is not necessarily the greatest item but it is new with tags it is universal thread size 12 great size an animal print um, Regularly sold for $29.99. I think clear, last clearance was $8.99. So um, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one. I figure it'll sell pretty quick in my booth. But I'll check comps and see if, they, if I should do them myself or in the booth. Okay. Now the next one is an express pair of black pants. Okay. Let me show you what the express they're cute black skinnies, I think. I like when they tell me. These are leggings, mid-rise leggings, and they are in a four. Cute pants. Um, I don't know. I'll check. Having the flea market, and, I, and those of you who don't know, I have a flea market, sorry. And they're having a car show this next weekend. Well, I'm going to be out of town. When you're watching this, I'm actually out of town on a cruise. We're going to Falmouth, Jamaica. Grand Cayman and Cozumel and just being on a cruise ship. You know me, I love cruises and I'm so excited about going on one. We leave out Sunday. And I'm filming this on Fridays, but it'll be next week before you see it. So, um, but they're having a car show club up. This, not this weekend for me, but the next weekend. And apparently when the car show comes to Petty Jean Mountain, looks like I got something on my lip. Uh, apparently it's like their best weeks. I started like the Tuesday before their car show last time and I didn't have time to get a lot of stuff in my booth, but I still made over $200. So I'm hoping for really, really good turnout this time. Okay. This one definitely looks like a um, booth one. This is INC denim. Okay. These are straight leg, a little bit wider. They are a size 10, and I love this bling on the back. If it's not worth a lot, these will definitely be going to my booth because we like bling in Central Arkansas. INC International Concepts, uh, is that a Nordstrom's? I think it's Nordstrom's, I'm not gonna swear. Okay, the next item is a blank NYC um, pair of black pants, these are jeans. And I was gonna see if it told me what they are. Let's see what size. They are not jumping out at me as a size either. It may be in here, I'm just not seeing it. But these are a uh, skinny, but I still like them. I mean, I like these pants. I know black is definitely uh, sells better than any other color did them, for, in my opinion. And I think in general consensus. Okay. The next item is a pair of shorts, and these are by First Kiss, maybe a boutique brand, I've never heard of them. <coughs> They're cute shorts, <coughs> um, but I'm betting these are definitely a booth, but not right now. Probably not till March or April, but I'll put it in my shorts box, and that way it'll be ready for them, okay? The next item is a Masson Jewels. That sounds nice, sounds fancy. The one thing I have noticed is none of them so far have had puckering. 
okay these are the everyday skinny in a size six not familiar with this it may be a um a boutique brand but i'll check and if it's something i plan on listing on ebay or poshmark or one of those then i'll be putting it right there if it's going to my flea market um then i probably won't put anything there but um so far you know i'm happy enough i think i think i was hoping for some really really cool stuff but so far that's okay this is a mosomo black denim trucker jacket real cute it's in a size small um, but a real cute and i'm thinking this is probably going to my boot but you'll know before i do actually okay the next item is a D and Company. This is a um, a size eight. I was really hoping these were a bigger size because I like it's an elastic waist, but it doesn't look that way, and I really like them. We'll have to see. I'm not sure. Okay, the water was went off. Okay, and then the next pair is a pair of Bigos Premium. Now, I do pretty good with the Bigos or Bigos or however you say that. Um, items, uh, jeans that have a lot of bling on the butt. These don't have a lot of bling. Um, so, we'll have to see. Not thinking I'm making a whole lot of money on this box, but I guarantee you I will make my money back. Okay? This is a pair of Chico's jeggings and they are a size eight petite just another nice elastic waist um, again i wish this was a 14 12 or a 14 um be a lot better but a straight um uh, pants leg and then the last item nope there's another one sorry the next to last item okay this is a pair of not your daughter's jeans um, these are the, uh, let's see if it tells me, sometimes they do, they do have a style in here, so that's good. These are a size 8, the fact that they are definitely, they're more like a boot cut, so definitely more in the style, so these will probably get listed. Because my jeans that I put in the booth are anywhere, I'll list them anywhere between $2.95 and uh, $5.95. Well, I have had a couple $6.95, but mainly $2.95 through $5.95, so I'm not going to make a ton of money. But if I'm getting those jeans for a dollar or two at my local thrift stores, then I'm still making some money. Okay? And then the last one is also a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, and these are also a size 8. These might, A bunch of these may have come from the same one, and this is another pair of boot cut jeans. Um, they look to be high rise. These look like more like what a cowgirl would wear. Maybe a cowgirl with curves because their saying is made for real women with real curves. Okay, so let's go back and count. I'm going to put this box over here. I don't need to put everything back in the box. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I've got twelve, so that always makes things nice. So if you divide twelve into thirty-eight twenty-two, you're going to get a little over three dollars. Okay, like three thirty or something like that. Um, but I love a good unboxing because who knows? I could have gotten some designer jeans in here. And who I don't even know what that Masson is. Masson Jewels. It may be a world's greatest pair of jeans. <laughs> I hope so. I want to thank you for watching. And it does mean the world for me to world to me for you to take time out of your busy days to watch me. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos by me, more unboxings, more hauls more what solds, what 
more what made, more tips and tricks, then please hit the subscribe button. I'm getting close to 600 um, subscribers, so if you can, I'd appreciate you helping out. But I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.